Hi girls, this is Patty from Wigs by Patty's Pearls. It's great to see you again. Boy guys, have I got a corker for you today. I am so excited to show you this. The wig I'm wearing is called Anne, and it's hand tied, mono top, lace front. It looks like this out of the box. A cute little boy cut, just adorable, perfect to wear to golf in the morning with your little visor. But I'm going to show you how to take it to Saturday night. I love my little thing, and I tell you what, people told me that I was even younger looking in this. So, of course, I wore it to bed, I wore it to church, I wore it everywhere. And I want to show you how to do it. You take the wig first, and we're going to knock it silly. I always tell you, shake the tar out of it. Now, why do I say that? Because I want to aerate the wig. I want to separate these pieces. And then you really get a better look. Now you've got a fuller wig. Now I'm going to show you how to get what I've got on the top of my head. The first thing you're going to do is brush it. You're going to hold it here, brush it back a little bit. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Now, if you want to go to breakfast or you want to go to tennis or whatever, you go ahead and wear it like this. But if you want to go out that night and have some fun, let's do something different. The first thing we're going to do is we're shaking, we're brushing. Now I'm going to take my little comb. This is a teasing comb. And I'm going to pick up a piece. At the bottom, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Pick up a piece. Pick up a hunk. I do not want you to do this with any symmetry whatsoever. The messier that you do this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then over here, one, two, three, four. See how I'm doing it at the bottom, guys? Because I want the top to be free for us to finger and do this. Just grab a hunk with your fingers. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm not going to do it at the bottom. Because if you look at the back of my hair, see how lovely it lays here behind your ears? So what we're going to do is just make it look like lightning hit our head on top. Now, i got to tell you, I have worn this wig for about the last week, week and a half. See how I'm doing it? Just glumping it. I'm not even doing it with any precision whatsoever. One, two, three, four. Just make it messy. Don't make the lines even. Don't worry about how much you pick into each one, half inch or whatever. Just grab a hunk of it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you've got all that body built up in the bottom. Now what are you going to do? You're going to take your John Renault hairspray. This is for synthetic hair. It doesn't have locker, lacquer. It doesn't get gummy. And you can brush it right out. And I want you to take this hairspray. Now listen, this is important. I want you to go to the base of the wig and spray. Lift up the hair. Go to the base. Lift up the hair. Go to the base. Because the base is where it's going to change. See the back of it? How I just lifted it up? Now down here we're going to have the same as the wig always is because it's not long enough to really do anything with it. The base. Why? Because the base of the wig is where the um, hairstyle is. It's where the design is. It's where the silhouette is. It's where the guts of the wig is. Not here on top, so you just flatten it. Never. I want it down at the base. Look. And do that all over just a little bit. Give it a little chance to dry. And, yeah, <laughs> that's what it's supposed to look like, guys. And then, I'm going to put it on and show you how we can do it with just a little bit fixing it up. I mean, I, I don't want them to think you've been in a car accident when you walk into the restaurant. Okay, now, get your temple tabs straight right through. 
like an arrow going right through your head. The last thing you do is now take that lace up. I go four fingers because I have no hair. One, two, three, four, right there. Now that fabulous lace. Then you take the top where the silk, where the lace is, go all the way up to your forehead. Usually it's four fingers, right like that. Now I'm going to circle and press to get that lace in there like we've talked before about the smart lace. And I just circled. Now, important, always claws, never flat. Claws. Claws, why? Because I want to get into the bottom. Claws, circle, circle, pick, circle, circle. Let me look in the mirror and see what it looks like. Tighten the back. And now you got it, guys. You got your wig for breakfast and tennis. You got your wig for Saturday night. Have a great day. Bye.